Norway is the largest producer of farmed Atlantic salmon. The $120 billion industry originates from 3,500 fish cages along Norwegian coastline bordering to the Arctic. The ocean currents don't respect fences. They carry with them important nutrients and oxygen, but also lice, viruses, waste, and micropollutants that can affect the health of the salmon as well as the fragile ecosystems surrounding them. And that is why the aquaculture industry turned to technology to guide them in their decision making. So Lera's core business is seafood. Lera's values are open and honest and creative and responsible. And when we bring all of those things together and continually search for way to do things better, whether it's feed for our fish, whether it's mitigating um, our influence on the environment, whether it's ensuring that we can produce a good, healthy protein source for the world's populations, uh, whether we use new technologies, we take into use new tools like hydrodynamic models and constantly search and drive to have more information, better information, so that we have data-driven decisions. That's how we stay ahead in this environment. The services you can get from, from OceanBox, uh, not only the ocean dynamics and, and the currents, but you can also do your own simulations. You can drop something into the water and see how the transport with the currents over time. Uh, you can put some kind of particle into the ocean thing and you can see how that will sort of move through the water and where it will end up over time. So you can uh, investigate if other locations uh, will be harmed or even if yourself, you, yourself will have uh, impact from other locations. The modeling tool that OceanBox offers, or these hydrodynamic models, we can use them to simulate a number of different par parameters in the ocean environment. So whether you're interested in the physical conditions, like how the water moves, why it moves the way it does, if you're looking at nutrients like nitrogen or phosphorus, you're interested in oxygen, or if you want to know how, in our case, fish farming, how we influence things on the seabed, these models provide us information on all of those parameters. Um, a very high detail uh, at the level of the cages, all the way to processes that, share, um, that occur the whole way along the coastline. So what I call a high resolution hydrodynamic model, it just means a very detailed model of the ocean currents. When you understand or try to understand how the water moves, and then try and understand why it moves the way it does. It opens up a whole new world for how we can then conduct our operations to the best for our fish and their welfare. So the coast of Norway is huge and uh, to understand how the currents move uh, in this very complex environment, we have to uh, use a very fine uh, grid uh, and, and make a three-dimensional grid of, of the coastal area. And to do that, in, we have to gather and, and collect lots of data and, uh, and model the whole area in terms of how the currents move and also the salinity and the temperature inside the ocean. And to do that, we need vast amounts of, of high-performance computing uh, to, to crunch the, the numbers. Our collaboration with Lenovo has, has um, uh, enables to have our have our own computing hardware, which is essential for us to to provide high level, high quality service. Uh, the services that OceanBox provides are, is, are based on uh, uh, massive data sets produced uh, by solving very complicated equations on on supercomputers. So having access to high performance hardware and storage is absolutely key for us to be able to provide the services that we do to our customers. What's exciting for me uh, is that after working more than 30 years with, with these types of high-performance computing clusters, uh, programming, infrastructure, uh, tying it all together in, in a company like OceanBox is really exciting and something i never done before. And for all of us who's working at OceanBox, this is uh, something completely new and uh, 
it gives us the opportunity to, to, to learn new things, but also to really harvest on the experience that we have. What we do matters, and possibly even more than that, the way we do it matters. And I work in a company, I believe, that is responsible, is open, is honest, is creative, and I get to be part of the solution. We are transforming how we interact with our oceans by building the tools to make underwater dynamics visible and universally accessible at the tip of our fingers. Better insight and smarter tools give us the possibility to do things differently, increase the welfare of the fish, and reduce the pressure on vulnerable areas within the ocean. That way, we can protect what matters while producing what we need.